1529 forecast. We're looking at a cloudy day, overcast skies at the Charlottesville Airport. Temperatures at 35 degrees and calm winds, but we're still uh, a little bit warmer than we were yesterday. Yesterday, our high was 32. We're already at 35, 10 degrees warmer than this time yesterday, and uh, not looking at any insane wind chills as yesterday this time, not only we were sitting a lot colder, but it felt a lot colder uh, as well with the wind chill today. Not expecting that we're going to remain dry as well, but we want to keep an eye on a winter weather advisory and a first alert weather day we have tomorrow. That's going to be 4 a.m. to uh, 7 p.m. Friday areas in the northern Piedmont going to be looking at an inch uh, two three inches uh, of snowfall for the day. Now as we take a look at the rest of central Virginia while we'll be looking closer to an inch maybe two again there's areas to north that are going to be looking closer to three for the day and most of that comes in the morning. So again this is going to be effect this is going to be affecting your morning commute. Uh, so want to make sure that you're taking precautions as you head out and planning for that as well. The Winter Green Resort awfully cold. 10 degrees and cloudy skies as well. Those clouds have rolled in and that's just ahead of this system that's going to be coming through tomorrow. That's going to be bringing in that snow. Actually, it's overnight. We're going to expect this to be about one or two in the morning that we'll start to see that snow start to move in and continues through our early morning hours. But don't want to keep uh, don't want to forget about a system we have just to our west. That's going to be bringing us another chance for some precipitation as we head into next week, but does not look like we'll be looking at it being a snow event. We'll talk about that shortly. We have some cloudy skies today. Temperatures a little warmer than we were yesterday. We'll see daytime highs finally reach in the 40s. Still going to be below average though as we head into your overnight hours, say about 1, 2 a.m. We're going to see the snow move into the area that continues through the early morning hours. That's when we have that first alert and that's going to continue uh, through the morning, say about 10 a.m. We'll be looking at mostly the northern portion of central Virginia still having some lingering showers by the afternoon. We'll finally start to see things across the area drying out and we'll bring into a little bit of sun as we head uh, into your late afternoon evening just before sunset on to Saturday. While we will be looking at some sunnier conditions, we have an Arctic blast that follows that front and that's going to be bringing us some much colder temperatures. We'll only be reaching the 20s. So again, we have a cold snap that comes through through the weekend. So make sure as you head into Saturday and Sunday, definitely want to make sure you're bundling up, staying nice and warm. But then Monday we have a nice uh, return. The jet stream is going to start moving north, so we'll be looking at some milder temperatures. It's going to feel a lot better as we head into next week. So when we look at our next chances for rain as well, which is Wednesday through Friday, it is going to be rain, not snow this time around. And with the rain that we've had recently, as well as some of the snow, we're finally getting out of those drought conditions. So definitely it's really good news for us. But obviously, as we are looking at areas that have finally had some saturation, depending on how much rain we have as we head into next week, obviously keep an eye on uh, on rain amounts that could produce some uh, higher levels of uh, water in low lying uh, streams and rivers, things like that. On to your next seven days. Again, a Friday snow, a very cold week and you want to be prepared for and things look great next week. Aside from the rain, we're going to be looking at temperatures. Finally recovering will be around 50 degrees by next Tuesday. Jared.